So hey everyone. So I've never actually run Shadowfang Keep in um, well classic. I mean, obviously I've um, run it in the past, and I've actually run it quite a few times in retail when it was brought out as a um, updated raid. So yeah, this is kind of my first time here in in a very very long time. You know, possibly fifteen years, and I thought I could um, run through and we could have a look at um, what kind of loot drops. Um, how difficult everything is. So I've done a tiny bit of research and it seems like this is um, a horde instance for level 10 to 20 characters. So um, that kind of seems quite perfect for me. To be honest, I kind of wish I could run this with my alt. Um, I mean, I, I suppose I could actually run this with my alt, but uh, okay. So far it doesn't look very promising. I've changed my mind, loyal servants. Uh, okay, I can't read it, it's too fast. <laughs> so yeah, seems like um, that guy has um, been killed and... How do we get into Shadowfang Keep then? Ah, this is unusual. Oh, okay, right. There's um, a side entrance here, so that will kind of make sense, I guess. So guys, I'm pretty much going to outclass everything in here. Um, I'll switch to my main weapon, I think. So... Again, this um, this is very different to the updated instance. Now the enemies have, um, seem to have quite a lot of hit points, considering they're um, still like level nineteen and stuff. So uh, that's a bit of a surprise. I do remember in the updated version, but um, there were some um, pretty powerful bosses and stuff around here. So yeah, we'll, we'll kind of see. Um, I figured I'd um, just grab some um, some mobs and then sort of kill them all at once. Okay, dokey. Have a go then, shall we? See what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick my shield on. I think, or maybe not. My shield will actually do a um, small amount of damage to them. It's only free damage, but I guess these things add up. So yeah, seems like there's a lot of um, wolves and worgen here at the beginning. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be that um, awesome boss. that you actually would find in the uh, current version in um, retail. Oh, again, um, Bandit Clinch of the Falcon. Not bad. Fine spin equipped, so that'd be nice. I could even send that to my Druid, actually, who is about level 18, I think. Uh, again, low-level shoulders are um, worth quite a bit of money sometimes. Um, simply because people want shoulders, but uh, they can be quite rare. Ah, oh, Sorcerer Ashcrom. Not putting up much of a fight, really. Seems to be a sort of um, NPC in here. Maybe I should have gone and got the quests for this place before. I see. So now we speak to this um, Death Striker die, and uh, he's going to open up the doors for us. Or for me, I guess. <laughs> and again, he's walking kind of slowly. You can do it. <laughs>
Yeah, what horrors could be behind the door, guys? So, again, I vaguely remember you have to be quite careful if you pull in this place, because if you pull too many um, mobs at once, you can uh, die, so uh, that's not good. But, doesn't really matter to me, so I guess I could round up a few of these guys. You know, I used to have a um, fiery trinket which um, did about 16 damage. I think it drops fairly regularly from um, uh, Ragnaros. But that would have been quite good here. Again, I think there's a horse in here, like a ghost horse called Nightmare or something, but maybe that's in the updated version. <laughs> Oops, if I bit enough to all, then I can chew. Okay, I'm gonna send some of these guys away. <laughs> Don't underestimate the enemy, I guess. That's the lesson here. And I'm fairly sure these green shields make them immune to um, a lot of magic and stuff, guys, so be careful with that. But I could be mistaken. So again, I guess we can have a look at what kind of loot there is. So the um, money per mob is about one silver, roughly speaking. So yeah, there's a lot of grey mob stuff here. Um, ooh, canvas vest. Nothing particularly interesting so far. I'm going to see if I can actually heal. So guys, we've obviously been in the stables. Um, I'm going to leave the horses alone, I think. Because I don't... Ooh, fell steed? Oh, so they're kind of evil steeds, I guess. But yeah, let's just leave the nice horses alone, shall we? <laughs> or, if I hurt the fell steeds, do you think it will summon a boss or something? I don't know, guys. I mean, they've got red eyes, so... I'm going to leave him alone. Obviously, feel free to do whatever you want, guys. Um, guess I'm just a big old softy. So I think this is um, kitchen or something in here, and there's quite a lot of ghosts. Ah, here we go. First sort of boss, then. See what he drops. How oh, rude. <laughs> um, can't quite see, but um, Phoenix pants. It's good. Oh, well, again, that's not bad. Um, cloth item, I guess. It's too far away. The food crate in here. But to be honest, I don't think I want anything from this kitchen. Oh, some smelly fish, right. Doesn't quite look like the most appetizing kitchen, does it? <laughs> um, okay. Oh, my God. 
So we have the uh, Shimmering Boots of the Eagle. Not bad, I guess. So yeah, there's quite a lot of, um, you know, relatively good loot in here if you're um, coming in here in a sort of five-man group or something, I guess. Nothing really uh, spectacular so far. But, you know, to be honest, I'm not really in here for um, any particular reason. I just kind of thought, well, I'm in the area and I just kind of thought, well, I'll run in. I'll do a quick video. I'll see what's in here. Again, that's a pretty good weapon. Binds when equipped. Um, again, I might sell, send that to my druid. Um, so would you lead into strength? It's not bad in bear form. Here we go. Baron Silverline. We have the Green Weave Vest of the Eagle. So, again, good for a mage, I guess. Maybe. I don't think you get blues very often um, in Classic when you're um, a lower level. So, these aren't bad items. Now, I think if I go outside, there's um, a separate path that I can take. Gouging pick. Oh, again, I kind of wish that um, you could do transmogs, because I always love giving my... Um, characters, you know, odd weapons like this, so, again, I don't mean you can take the appearance if it's a grey item, but, yeah, shame there's no transmogs, never mind, that's just a classic for you. Ah, here we go. Commander Silver Veil. A uh, Spring Veil, sorry. Commander Spring Veil. Again, this um would probably be quite tough if you were like level twenties, I guess. Cause they take um quite a lot of hits. I mean look at that, he just completely resisted. Pretty much. Ooh, again. Finds when picked up. Oh, that's a shame. That, again, is a properly decent shield for a um, low-level warrior. I mean, look at that. Six strength, three stamina, and three spirit. I mean, that would be absolutely perfect for a warrior. If you're about level 23 or something. Again, wall's quite useful, guys. I mean, I should probably hand my wall in to get a bit of reputation with the factions because I haven't actually done any of those quests, but uh, I don't know. You see, um, normally in Classic, I would, um, you know, try to get um, exalted with every faction, so handed in wall and stuff is quite good. Though, to be honest, uh, you don't really need to do that in... Um, in classic now so for example if you go to uh oh, well, where is it um but you can get a lot of reputation in some of the battlegrounds which is actually um way more effective than handing in war and whatnot so again i'm kind of back to the beginning here but i'm really high up now so um that's where i started guys and that's where i sort of ran into the area so this is kind of cool actually
Again, that ring is quite good. I could probably sell that. Gives you intellect and stamina. So, uh, again, that's not a bad ring. And considering rings are kind of rare. At low level, anyway. Some um, level 15 ring. Not bad. Let's have a look up top. Then I'll go back and do the other pathway. If there even is a pathway around the back, which I think there is. We've got some bats in here. Oh, Odo! For Blindwatcher! I hope he doesn't shapeshift on me. <laughs> um, yeah, Blindwatcher, right. Come on, Odo. Sorry, I'm a bit of a Trekkie fan. Um, if you guys don't know, um, Odo was actually a character from Deep Space Nine who could uh, transform. And apparently in Cardassian, Odo means unknown sample. So you learn something every day. Oh my god! Odo's getting massive. Dude, that's really cool. So he literally did kind of shapeshift, I guess. Oh, he's too cool to kill. I think I'm just going to leave him. <laughs> Oh, Odo, come on, you're such a cool character. Not ready yet. So I guess Odo can kind of save her and he can help me generate rage. Wow, so guys, I've got some kind of curse which says periodic skill reduction. I'm going to have a look at my combat logs. I wonder what that means. I don't know. I wonder if I'm losing skill over time. Sorry, Odo. You were a good buddy. Oh my god. Odo the Bind Watcher down after 2 minutes and 26 seconds. It's got to be a record for the longest he's been up, guys. I can't carry anymore. Ooh, okay. Um, Again, he's dropped a shiny war axe. His junk. And some other cool stuff. Massive battle axe of a boar. Which, 5 spirit, 5 strength, not bad for a warrior. Um, inventory is full. Oh, inventory is full. I can't carry anymore. Ah, oh, guys. Sucks. That's worth about 40 silver, apparently. What other stuff do we have here? Mushrooms, I don't really care for. So yeah, we're getting some pretty good junk in here, guys. Love me some good junk. But the value's not bad, actually. Wow, that's incredible. So um, my skill in using two-handed axes is reduced by 100. And my skill using staves is, again, reduced by 100. I mean, can, that's a pretty darn big um, curse, guys. As, I mean, you consider, right, um, my sword skill, well, because I'm on max level, it will be um, 300. So, 100 reduction is almost a third. So, you know, that's um, a really deadly curse. 
Again, I get the feeling I'm near the end now. Look, here we go. The son of Agril. Orgle. I don't know why I can't read in these <laughs> in these videos. But yeah, um, so the sun's pretty much getting bigger again. Big and red. <laughs> Ooh, so you dropped a moss, um, thing. Yeah, the Lurpine Horrors, um, level 25, so considering most of the mobs in here was, um, were significantly lower. So I think there's some kind of witch up the top or something, or some kind of caster. I've still got that curse, but unfortunately, well, I don't think it's affected two-handed swords yet, so that's fine by me. Even if it did, it wouldn't really affect me at this level, anyway. Again, my ghosts all seem to be multiplying a bit. Is it just me? Are they respawning down there, or have I not been down there? Huh. I feel kind of bad I can't carry any more stuff, guys. I mean, I suppose the logical thing to do now would be to leave, but I, I guess we can just see this through to the end. See what the final boss is. Ooh! That's a pretty big wolf, isn't it? Oh, and I'm loving this room, you know, the sort of um, green flames and the sort of wolf is uh, kind of cool. Nice. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Who dares interfere with the sons of Aragal? Oh, nice. There's a guy up top. Wow, well, so his hide's quite cool, actually. It is a bit furry, um... I'm gonna see if there's any more junk I can delete, guys. Scroll of stamina, um... I almost wish I'd done this when I was a lower level, because, um, it's quite a cool, um, area. I can't attack so, I don't know, the ghosts have gone, guys. So there's some kind of secret, um, secret way of um, getting up top there. Oh, don't tell me I've got to actually go all the way through the other way in order to kill the other bosses to unlock it. Oh, that would just be harsh. So again, I don't quite know what happened to the um, purple ghosts. Can't think of their name right now. I can't carry oh, hey guys. Oh my goodness me. They've got some kind of t terrible regeneration. Really good regeneration, I mean. <laughs> Okay, so the gates have come up. 
kind of relieved to be honest because I really didn't want to go all the way back to the beginning and make sure all the bosses were dead. But uh, yeah, let's go up to the top, guys. You know, there used to be a TV series, can't remember what it was called, but it was um, it was this witch and she lived in this terrible tower and you had to get up to the top of the tower. Well, I don't know, maybe it was top to bottom, I can't remember, but um, this kind of reminds me of that old TV show. Can't for the life of me remember what it's called, though. But yeah, I mean, this is really quite a marathon, I guess, guys. Ooh, another door. Wolf guard walks. Wolf master Nando's. <laughs> Why isn't that my most brilliant name, guys? I'm definitely gonna have some um, Nando's chicken and whatnot. I think. Actually, don't. I don't mean to Nando's much, but don't we do um, the unlimited ice cream? Or, um, it's not ice cream, is it? It's, um, unlimited yoghurt. That sounds pretty good to me. So, yeah, guys, you might want to, um... I don't know for sure, but you may want to actually clear these walls before you kill Mr. Nando here, because they will all attack you. And you know, I honestly don't think I've ever, ever been here in this um, instance. Like I said, I've been in the updated one, but yeah, I don't recall ever being here, um, ever. This is brand new for me. Check it, brand new content from an old game. <laughs> I'll get rid of the apple. Oh, that's kind of nice and fancy. Mine's been picked up, but I'm not going to bother. Ah, so this looks like the final boss, right? I wonder if I can just get over the there. I reckon I can jump it. Oh. Let me just sneak past these guys. Again, quite a cool ending boss, guys. Ooh. Again, that's... I don't know where the first two items went. Um... Doesn't matter, but that belt's really nice for um, a caster. I mean, look at that, 10 intellect. Um, that would um, be fantastic for a mage. Shame it's Bop, though. But... <sighs> Better get rid of my little mana pots. So that was it, guys. Um, I won't bore you with going over the rest of it. Um, like I said, I think there's a bit more down the bottom around the corner but i don't think there's um loads more so i guess i'll end the video here but yeah i really hope you enjoyed it and um let me know did you do this instance much when you were sort of leveling your character or would you do it in the future let me know and thanks and goodbye